If you were to see the Adobe Captivate interface, then you might notice that it is quite similar to PowerPoint. And talking about PowerPoint, we can actually import PowerPoint slides as we start a project in Adobe Captivate as well. So let us do exactly that. So I already have a PowerPoint slide opened right here. So let me just go over here. And just like we said, it's quite similar to Adobe Captivate. You can see the slides on the left side. You can see like the main layout options on the top. Now you can bring in the shapes and so forth. And if you want to learn more about PowerPoint, then I have a playlist of PowerPoint tutorials as well. So over here now, in order to bring in the PowerPoint slide as a project in Adobe Captivate, first you have to save it out. So I'm just going to save this out. I'm going to go to save as, I'm going to click on browse, then and in desktop, I'm going to save the PowerPoint slide right over here. So I'm just going to rename it as test. And over here in save as type, I'm going to choose the old PowerPoint format that is PowerPoint 97 to 2003 presentation PPT format because Adobe Captivate might not support a lot of the things that PPT X might have. So I'm just going to save it out as a PPT right over here saying that certain things won't be saved right here. So I'm just going to click on yes and it has been saved as a PPT file. So I'm just going to close PowerPoint now. So in order to import a PowerPoint document that is to start a project with a PowerPoint file, I'm going to go to file right here. I'm going to go to new project and I can simply click on project from MS PowerPoint. Let me just close this and go back to this uh, main menu. So I'm just going to close everything out so that I can get back to this window right over here. So you can also go over there while you're opening a project or from this window, you can click on new and over here on the bottom right side, you can see that there's from PowerPoint. So simply click on that and click on create. So once you do that, you can now choose your PowerPoint slide right here. So I'm going to go to my desktop where I just saved my PowerPoint slide. So I'm just going to click on that and I'm going to press open. So once I do that, now you can see that it is importing the PowerPoint project and it is converting it into a Captivate format right over here. So it's converting all the slides as Captivate film strips, as you can see right over here. And now it gives me the option. So I can choose the within hide and everything. I can choose slides and so forth. So I can go over here and let's say I want a desktop size. I can simply change the size over there just like that. And if I want something like uh, something else, other size, I can simply choose that as well. So according to what you want. So I'm just going to stick with the original PowerPoint slide right here. On the bottom hand side, you can see the slide preview. You can also maintain the aspect ratio if you don't want this slide stretch out. So over here on the slide preview, you can see all the slides. And if you want to remove some of the slide, you can just uncheck it and that slide won't be included. As you can see, you can clear all that unchecks all the slide. And if you select all that selects all the slide right here, the slides are linked by default and advanced slide is on mouse click, which is what we have in PowerPoint as well. So I'm not going to change much of these and I'm just going to press OK right over here. So my new project is created as you can see right over here. Just adding slide to the project as you can see and it'll start up the new project just like this. As you can see, so it's adding the slides over there. Okay, and over here now you can see that the slide is there. So you have all of the slides and you can see that this is quite similar to PowerPoint right over here. And the great thing is, and if you were to go over here, you can see uh, the click box right over here, as you can see. So uh, it adds in a click box, so which actually lets it advance to the next slide over there. So that's something you have in Adobe Captivate right over here. So you can go over here, as you can see, and then work around with the slides just like this. So this is how you start your project. So that's how you start a new project with PPT files inside of Adobe Captivate. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.